everybody! Today, let's make something sweet. Some of you requested, Mangchi, I want some Korean sweet stuff. I'm not a sweet stuff person. Like, I usually don't eat dessert or snack. But this dessert, this snack is really addictive. It's called Chapsal Donuts. Sweet, chewy donut balls filled with sweet red bean. How does it sound? When you go to Korean bakery, and you see they're like a cute balls and inside filled with sweet red bean paste. We call this chapsal donuts. Ever since I was young, this is my favorite donuts because it's very chewy. It's like a rice cake, you know, because made with glutinous rice flour. This is one of my guilty pleasures. <laughs> but I'm going to try really make it healthy version so by not using so much sugar. You guys can make easily at home for your family. And also, you don't have to worry about too much sugar. First, I'm going to make a sweet red bean filling. And then, just making dough is very, very easy. But making sweet red bean filling takes time. So let's start with a difficult thing first. I will use one cup of azuki beans. I think all are good looking. Let's wash. Put this in a pot. When you boil this red bean, you need a really thick pot, like a thick bottom pot, because we are going to you know, cook for a long time. If you use a really thin pot, easily boil over, easily like burnt. This is seven cups of water. Turn on the heat and then boil for 30 minutes over medium high heat. So pot, red bean is really, really, really hard. Even though these guys are so small, very hard. So that's why we need to make it tender. Okay, 30 minutes passed. Let's see. You see, beans are still hard. So, but you will see that, right? Still a lot of water. So I'm going to cover this, turn off, let it sit for another 30 minutes. Meanwhile, inside with the hot water, the beans are going to be a little cooked and a little softer. Then I gotta cook again. So this is 30 minutes cooking, 30 minutes, take a break. I need to set the timer. Thirty minutes passed, so without any heat. Let's check it out. Water is a little darker, more purple color. It cooked, but still hard. We need to make it really tender. So I'm going to cover this and turn on medium heat. I'm going to cook this for one hour from now. So meanwhile, let's make a dough now. This donut is very chewy. That's the key point. So we use glutinous rice flour, one cup. And then this is wheat flour, one tablespoon. I will just add this baking soda, quarter teaspoon baking soda. Salt also quarter teaspoon. And then the sugar. This sugar, is, I just bought this organic cane sugar, but you can use white or brown sugar too. One tablespoon sugar. I made many, many times. That eventually, I found out this butter. One tablespoon butter makes it really much, much better. But if you don't have butter, use any vegetable oil. I melted this butter in the microwave oven for 20 seconds. This dough, we need hot water, really boiling hot water. Seven tablespoons. So I'm boiling my water here. It's really hot, hot water. Quarter cup, three tablespoons more. Total, seven tablespoons water. And just mix. Keep mixing. So I'm going to use my hand. Mm. 
knead this dough until very smooth so that you can make a nice shape and nice balls. If you don't knead enough, the bowl is going to be easily burst when you fry this. It looks like a Play-Doh, very smooth. I need around two minutes. I think two minutes is enough. And then we gotta wait until beans are done. Really soft. This is a potato masher. Really, really tender, soft. I will just add some water. Three cups of water. Let's strain this because I like to collect the only bean part. I will remove the rough skin. This is bean skins. I want to remove these bean skins. But still, the bean skin inside, little bit beans in there. I will use my hand. I like to get as much as I can to get all beans. And then, soak in this water again. Pretty much, we got all beans. And squeeze out. And beans skins, <laughs> only skins. Discard these bean skins. This is trainer, I will use this. So this is the cotton cloth. It's too big, but it's okay. If we use a cheese cloth, three or four times a fold and then use it this way. Well mix and pour this through this cotton cloth. You see? Water, clear water only. I'm so impatient. So I just usually, I use this method. Only clear water is coming out. And then use your hand. Squeeze slowly. All squeeze out excess water. I will just get rid of this water. And then I will show you inside what we catch. <laughs> Get that. Really nice, beautiful, soft like mud. Okay, nice, gorgeous. Now, we need to make this sweet. Quarter cup sugar. Quarter cup rice syrup. I will add quarter teaspoon salt. One teaspoon vanilla extract. One teaspoon. After adding vanilla extract, it smells like a bakery. Medium high heat with this rice syrup and sugar, sooner or later, it's going to be really thinner. I stirred over medium high heat around six or seven minutes, and then one lump. All this together is moving around as one lump, right? See, like this. And turn off. Gather one lump. Now we have a sweet red bean paste and our dough. And we make a shape and fry. That's it. So easy. Get this amount. I took all my sweet red bean paste from the pot. And this is like this amount. 
is one pound around this half I'm going to use. So leftover half, I will just keep in the freezer, freeze, and then later I can use it. Still warm. <laughs> Just I will take some, around 20 grams is good. So make nice balls, like this. So 10 balls. Wow, long time no see. See, wow, so soft. I'm going to also Divide this into 10 because we have 10 red bean balls. It shouldn't be dried, so I like to cover this with the plastic wrap. And then one by one. So, just make this, like this. Flatten the balls, okay, here, and then one, like this. Seal it tightly by pressing this, like that. Beautiful balls. Then here. Black sesame seeds. I heated up this oil. It should be like 300 Fahrenheit. And then let's see. Okay, 299 and 300. That's it. Just slowly, slowly. Roll it so that it's cooked evenly. Because this is a glutinous rice flour, it's really sticky. And if you don't uh, stir this like this, it may you know, stick to the bottom. So this way, around five or six minutes, you know, slowly, slowly cook. So that this all the rice, rice cake should be cooked very nicely. Outside is a little crunchy. And inside is a rice cake, chewy rice cake, filled with sweet red bean. What else do we need more? <laughs> really tasty. I fried this six minutes for a raw heat. Oh my, isn't it pretty? Wow. Let it cool down a little bit. And then rest of the balls, let's fry. Just low heat. If this is a high heat, easily burst. While this is cooking, sugar. So let's coat the sugar. Sugar coated. This one. Two tablespoon sugar I use. And this flour. So let's put the flour. Gorgeous. Look at this. Nice, even size. Really, really beautiful, beautiful balls. Even this one, it looks like a little bigger than ping pong balls. I like to use this as a ping pong <laughs> table tennis. <laughs> I need to really cool down just a little bit. You know, if this is too hot, it's not going to be cooked easily. Ten. 
10 chapsal donuts, 10 balls, and one flower. <laughs> Today we made chapsal donuts, 10 balls. I'm going to make another 10 balls with this my leftover sweet red bean paste. You want to see inside what it looks like? Look at that. It's like this. See, crunchy outside and chewy rice cake filled with the sweet red bean. Mm. This sweet red bean is not too sweet, but sweet enough and nice, nice, nice snack or dessert. Everybody will love this. Mm. Every single part is delicious and I love this also texture. And these flowers are really pretty. Eh? Yeah, your children will love it. I'm always happy whenever I hear that you guys made this at home. Everybody loves that. That kind of story, that makes me really, really happy. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.